Ooh. Starting the day off, hopefully, with a full charge over here. Oh, let's have a look, see, shall we? One hundred percent. I do not know what else to do. I think I've done about everything I can. I've tested this product numerous times from numerous different chargers on installed reinstalled formatted thumb drives connected debugging cables over and over and over again I just can't get this thing working now I'm starting to get depressed all right I am at our local charging station that has CCS and Chatamo Nobody is here at the moment, so I gotta kinda make this fast because this is the only charger within like a 17 mile area. So I'm pretending to charge for a moment while I do this. First, I am gonna take the advice of, hold on, let me look. Chris Partak, who says I might be formatting my thumb drive wrong. So I am going to reformat, reinstall, and then try to capture some log. Let's give it a shot. So first, he told me to format using FAT. So right, or, or FAT or something else. Right now, FAT is my default. He said try FAT32. Well, so let's uh, try and format in FAT32, shall we? Okay, click that. Okay, now let's uh, go over here, click email. Gmail, open Gmail, okay, where is it at, where is it at, okay, here it is, save windows, I think that, what is this? It's opening, it's opening, come on. Save Windows. I thought it was supposed to be a, no, not that. It's supposed to be a My something. Latest firmware update. I got images, My Video, a project. Let's open this up. Where is... May you provide, okay, my Chatamo CCS2 Chatamo bin, don't know if that's the right one, that's, uh, where is the newest update? Uh, hold on, let me find the newest update. Okay, the newest update here is 3.3.5.8 Google Drive, it should be in his Google Drive. No preview available, let's download. We're gonna put it to drive D. We're gonna hit save. And it shows it was downloaded. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's reopen real fast. And we shall open up, make sure it went. Documents. Let's open up the D drive. And there it is. My 407 CCS Chatmo bin, 126 kilobytes. So it's on the card. I just flashed it onto the card. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys on a stand, take the computer outside and plug into that thing. All while trying to also Grab a log file. Before we do that though, I have to flash the thumb drive. I was getting so excited, I gotta flash the thumb drive. So first, let's uh, undo this little cable and make this a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this into the computer. Keep an eye out on that light. It's flashing, it's flashing, 
it's steady it's flashing again it just went out so it should be flashed it should be flashed into the system so now we can unplug Boop. all right let's give this a shot again i am going to need this cable because this one here is going to plug into the unit here and then it's the other one's going to plug into the computer and we're going to try to get whatever information we can i have not been able to get this to work but i have to record a video doing it all right first off i am going to plug this in this cable here and here and i am going to set it That thing is, this does not stay in there very well. The CCS is a little bit loose in the unit. Then I shall take this and plug it into the computer, into my pewter. And uh, let me make sure I'm opening the right thing here. So let's go and uh, open documents. Downloads, and we are looking for CC. Is it right here? It is. Check this out. Not me, the computer. So at the moment, you get this screen right here, and you're supposed to make sure it's on English, which mine is. Your Windows the system is on English. Where is my cursor? I can't see it with the sun. I can't see my cursor with the sun. Oh, it's over there. There, there we go. Okay, so uh, connect. There's supposed to be a little green arrow over here, a circular arrow. It's not there. I forget how to get that little circle over there. Hmm. Okay, let me try and figure out how to get the green arrow. Okay, I got it. There it is. Oh, I'm sorry I'm outside, so sorry about that. See that little green arrow right there? That should be clickable. It's not at the moment, I'm assuming, because we're not connected. So let's go ahead and connect this and try and get it running. See if that thing uh, starts working. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fire up this pump. It takes a minute. EV command. I see Wildwood, Florida. Two available. We're going to pick this one. So let's go CCS. Welcome, Rick. It's starting. So this should fire up. Once that once this fires up, once that changes, begin charge. Okay. Once that fires up, I'm supposed to press the button and hold it for 10 seconds on the handle. Okay, come on, change. There was a problem. Uh, two connectors available. Let's try again, begin charging. Okay, now it should change. Okay, it's changed. Now I hold the button for about 10 seconds. Okay, let's see if there's any info. Let's see if there's any info.
Have I been recording this whole time? All right, yeah, I don't know what to do. Other than put everything away. Uh, can't figure it out, man. Uh, I am... Camera shut off for a second. I am debating on uh, communicating with the company. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is I have a defective unit. I am going to go ahead and tag the company in this video. Maybe they seen something I was doing wrong. I can't send log files. The little green circle arrow thing doesn't click. I'm reading everything in there to bring that up and, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And, and I know I did the firm, I flashed the firmware properly into the thumb drive and put it into the unit properly. I'm pretty sure I did that right. But after 15, 16, 17 chargers, different brands, different machines, uh, different manufacturers, it's, I just can't get it working. I don't know what it is. If it's just a United States thing, if I just got a defective unit, or if it's just something in my brain that's not clicking that it should have been simple, but I just don't see it. Because it's definitely not plug and play. This unit is not plug and play. I'm noticing that right. Well, I've noticed that over the last 17 charges. Uh, my hope is it's not a defective unit. It's a defective brain on my part. Uh, because if it's a defective unit, I don't know how to ship this back to Hong Kong. And, and, and hoping it for a replacement. Because that could take a long time. That could take another month or two. And I'm getting ready to go on a trip. And on June 8th, for 1,600 miles on my leaf, and I really want to take one of these units with me and test it all through the United States, not just Florida. And so I need to learn exactly what to do with this thing, how to send log files, how to actually make the thing work uh, when formatting and installing it back into the unit. Like I said, there's a lot of steps to be taken there. It's not user-friendly at the moment it's not just plug and play like other adapters um i would i i just hope i just hope this one unit is not the defective i hope it's just me so we'll see uh, we'll see what the comments are in my emails after this uh in communication with them uh, maybe they'll video chat with me and i'll have and we'll find some time together to where we can video chat and they can walk me through it visually because I'm more of a visual person when it comes to tech. Someone shows me something, I understand it. But when you're reading everything, sometimes it gets lost in translation. And, and that's not, you know, because it's an Asian market in US, it's not that type of translation. I'm almost okay with that. I, I'm, uh, I'm fine trying to understand other nations. I, I like it, it it's interesting to me. But it's the tech, tech language is, is the language that I have an issue with, having a hard time with. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, until the next time, I'll talk to you guys later and hopefully with some updates and a working unit. Peace, everybody. Peace, everybody.